Good afternoon Yogi Bears, welcome back to Yoga Toba with the space between. Um, so today we're going to continue with our um, heart opening um, postures um, open for October and today's sequence will be a standing sequence um, which will help to realign um, uh, Anahata Chakra and help to balance it out a little bit, the heart chakra. Um, it will just be a short sequence today so if you like this video or you want to leave a comment feel free to hit the thumbs up or right below and feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more thank you okay, so we're going to bring ourselves to the front of our mats bringing the hands to the heart rocking back and forth on the soles of the feet until we get a nice even weight distribution and we're going to lift the toes spread them and place them down roll the shoulders back and down straighten the spine closing the eyes Anahata chakra, the heart chakra, bringing our attention here, the element of which is air. So take a moment to feel the air wash over the fingertips. Perhaps thinking of something you feel grateful for today, no matter how small it may be. Good, we're going to release the hands, bring them to the lower back, bending the knees slightly, roll the shoulders back and down, and we're going to slowly start to open up with the chest, maybe bending the knees still, drawing a line along the, the roof from the ceiling, and slowly coming up, we're going to interlace the fingers, bring them back behind us, maybe rock the neck a little bit, Releasing any kinks here, whatever feels good. Bring the feet out a little bit, ready to bend down and allow the hands to come as far as they may. Try and keep the spine nice and straight, opening up the shoulders and the chest here. Letting gravity do its thing with your hands. Gently coming up a little bit, keeping a bent knee, bringing the palms back, a nice wide open heart. And then release to a forward bend, bring the feet in a little bit here. Nice straight spine, allowing the chest once more to come forward, trying not to lock the knees. Bending the knees, brushing the fingertips along the floor of the mat, ready to come up into Ukatasana chair pose. Bring the tailbone under slightly. Bringing the hands to chest, left elbow over right knee. Trying to keep the knees square here. Pushing the hands together to encourage the chest to open. Inhale, reach forward with the crown of the head, elongate the spine and then exhale. A little bit deeper into this pose. Gently come to centre, release to the floor. Perhaps this time you want to bring your index fingers and curl them around the big toes and allow the elbows to fall out to the sides. Chest comes forward, spine is nice and long. Gently release the hands, brushing them along the floor before we come back up into Ukatasana chair pose. Tucking the tailbone under slightly, squeezing the knees together. Bringing the hands to heart center. This time we're gonna bring the right knee over the left, sorry, the right elbow over the left knee. Again, pushing the hands together, trying to keep those knees nice and in line. Release the hands to the mat. If you want a deeper stretch, this time you can bring 
the palms underneath the soles of the feet, maybe even wiggling the toes a little bit to give yourself a massage with the ball of the feet. Elongating the spine, sucking the belly button towards the back of the spine. Back is nice and straight, chest is nice and open. Gently release the hands, bending the knees, rolling up to a standing posture, bringing the hands to heart center. Feel the breath wash over the fingertips, reminding you to be grateful now in the present moment. Perhaps thinking a grateful thought, feeling happy and thankful and grateful that you're able to stand here and practice today. I would recommend that you take a few moments to lie down on your mat in Shavasana for a few minutes. And thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Give yourselves a thank you as well. Namaste. The awesomeness in me bows down to the awesomeness in you. <laughs> thank you for joining me for this Yoga Toba, and I will see you next time. Just don't get too far and I'll be alright